Hello friends, welcome back to this month's business series uh, webinar with ITR Economics and today we're going to be talking about Mexico, our lovely friends and neighbors uh, to the south. As always, I'm Connor Lokar, uh, speaker and forecaster here at ITR Economics. Uh, and this is a topic that we're really excited about here uh, today and one that I don't think we talk about enough as it relates to Mexico and their economy, their relevance and importance, uh, not just globally, but obviously within uh, our North American uh, trifecta here. Uh, at ITR, our client base obviously skews generally towards a lot of US-based companies. We also have quite a few uh, Canadian-based companies. And Mexico, I feel like, gets left by the wayside. Uh, and we're gonna right those wrongs today, folks, all right? We are going to go back and clean that up and dedicate this webinar to Mexico and really talk about some exciting uh, things that are happening within the Mexican economy, things that we think have some traction as we go forward, a reason that we may see Mexico ascending possibly up global GDP rankings and really becoming very important as a manufacturing uh, destination, particularly for goods that are ultimately destined for uh, the United States. Because as we're going to find in this webinar, that's really core uh, to Mexico's advantages and why we're able to be relatively bullish on Mexico as we go forward. We're going to talk about some demographic advantages that Mexico has relative to some other parts of the world. Uh, obviously, some geographic advantages, uh, some cost basis advantages that has Mexico pretty uniquely positioned uh, to succeed in this world and uh, global cycle of shortening supply chains, more resilient supply chains, uh, and, and some of that fraying and uh, at least higher tensions, I'll call it, uh, with the uh, U.S.-China uh, trade relationship that may well prove to be quite advantageous uh, for Mexico's economy. We're seeing stellar marks across the board, folks, for Mexico. We've seen their, their real-time economic outcomes, for the most part, outperforming the United States and Canada within North America, but for the most part, grading quite well from a global standpoint. We have seen that their growth trajectory has clearly changed coming out of COVID. Their relative performance against global economic growth rates has been favorable relative to what it was for 20 years prior to COVID-19 uh, and the associated shutdown. So obviously, we know that our domestic clients here onshoring, things are coming back to the United States, but in a lot of cases, they just can't make the math work here, at least with as things currently stand, maybe robotics and automation allow for more of that to come back in the United States. So in terms of a stopgap, in terms of a uh, next best alternative, Mexico continually is coming up at the top of that list. 